we have bike prep, 1 times 60 at 70 to 80 percent, 1 times 20 at 90 percent, 3 times 20, 30 flies at 80 percent, 3 times 6 hurdles at 33, 4 steps in, rest 4 to 5 minutes in between, and then BPC. <laughs> Wait, wait, what is BP? What's that last one? BPC? Yeah. So burpees, push ups, crunches. So okay. you do 15 burpees, run 50, skip back, 20 push ups, run 50, skip back, 25 crunches, run 50, skip back, then do it all over again. And then after the last um, skip back, you sprint. Sprint 50, sprint 50, and then it's, and it's over. And then, we lift. What significance was there in the order of events, so in doing the shorter sprints before you actually go over the hurdles? Oh, <laughs> because I'm a sprinter first. So, um, pretty much all the sprinting and like short sprinting stuff that I do, I want to carry that over to in between the hurdles. Okay. So it's like getting that rhythm, getting how that feels, and then carrying it over to the hurdles. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like when I'm hurdling, I'm not thinking about the hurdle. Yeah. Like whether it comes like quicker or not, like I will adjust just because I've been hurdling for so long. Yeah. But um, it's running in between and just trying to get there as fast as you can, which yeah. is where I think like the grunting and aggression comes in. Right. Because like I never used to do this before, but like I'm like so in it that I'm like, okay, I need to get there. Like I need right. to get there now. Yeah. Like, and that's when it just kind of like comes out. Right. Yeah.
times, but I, I enjoyed lifting. So like I didn't like skip out on it, but um, I feel like in the past year I realized like how important like the technique is. Cause it's like, I feel like a lot of people it's like, okay, got a lift, whatever. You go and you just like go through the motions. Yeah. But it's like, okay, are you hitting those critical points? Yeah. Like, are you doing it properly? It's like, okay, you have three plates on the bar or whatever, but like, are you doing it properly? Cause right. like the weight on the bar doesn't matter unless you're hitting the positions that you need to be hitting. And I feel like a lot of people are focused on like, oh, like I can lift more than this person. Yeah. Or like, oh, like I moved up in weight. And it's like, okay, but like, every time that like, you move up in weight, like, are you compensating somewhere? Like, are you missing something? You know what I mean? But for injury prevention, huge. Because it's just, you're just trying to strengthen every part of your body. And at the same time, like, gain that explosiveness. So. Trust me, I know, yes. but it's looking at a camera. Yes. My name is Makisha Bob. I run 100 meter hurdles and uh, my coach is Coach Charles Allen. I think the difference between university and where I am now is the environment. There's a lot of people at the university level that can go above and beyond, but there's also a lot of people that can't. Like that's the end of their road as well. Like, and that can be with high school as well. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I feel like the environment that I'm in now is it's intense, but like, I just feel like it's where I need to be. Like everyone around me has a goal. Everyone around me is focused. Everybody is doing what they need to do 110%. And if you're not, like it's just not cutting it. Especially at the university level, a lot of people are content with like, okay, like I made it to OUAs or like, okay, I made it on a relay to like U Sports. And like, yeah, people say I had a great university career, but I was I'm not satisfied in the least. And like, people will be like, oh, like you, you, like you did so great, like whatever, whatever. And I'll be like, nah, like it wasn't. And they'll get mad at me and like, what are you saying? Like you did so much. I'm like, no, but the thing is it's, I didn't do enough. Like I didn't do what I wanted to do in that span of time. Like OUAs, my last OUAs still breaks my heart to this day. Like to this day still breaks my heart, but on the bright side, I'm like, okay, but it's not over. Like, that wasn't the end. That's not what it, it was. Like, that's not your claim to fame. Like, that's not it. It's like, now I'm with a, like a group of people and everybody has clear goals. Like, it's not like, oh, like I just want to do well this year. It's like, no, I'm, I want to go to the Olympics. I want to do well at the Olympics. I want to place top whatever. And it's like, let's go. Like, I'm amped. Like, that's what I need. And that's what I'm excited for. With hurdles, like there's there's things that I do need to iron out, which I'm really excited for because I can see a difference even with the slightest change um, versus like where I was like a year ago. Like looking at like anything, like even just like looking at myself in the mirror, like I look completely different. It's crazy. But um, my goals for the next couple months is honestly just 110% every practice, keep after the grind. And I'm really, 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 really excited to compete whenever, whenever, whenever that is. I don't know when that's going to be. But um, just to see where I'm at, because I am, I am trying to be one of the top hurdlers in Canada. So that is the goal. 
My name is Makisha Bob, and you're watching Mission 6 Media. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm pleased. 